Hello, today we're going to be doing a very quick, easy provisioning of a volume on 3 Power Junkie. So I'm going to start here on the main dashboard in the Store Serve Management Console, or what we call the SSMC. And I'm using 3.2. You can find that version in the lower right-hand corner. And I've created my dashboard, uh, which I call Best Dashboard, with the Common Actions and Views panel in the upper left. And that allows me to do really quick functions. So I'm going to hit Virtual Volume. And the wizard's going to open up, and that wizard is going to allow me um, to create uh, volumes very quickly on the fly. I'm going to call this Easy Volume because that's what it is. Okay. It's going to be thin provisioned. Uh, it's going to have dedupe. It's going to have compression. Okay. Uh, it is going to be aligned to uh, RAID 6. I'm going to make it 1 terabyte in size. There you go. I'm going to skip the volume piece. I'll show you it real quick. But what this allows you to do is uh, have a volume put into a volume set. And you might do that typically with the SX volumes and clusters. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm just going to jump straight to export. So I know what host I'm going to uh, assign it to. And that host is right here. It's uh, 07 ESX4. And I'm going to add it, create. And it's going to go out and it's going to create this volume called Easy Volume. You can see it right here. If I want to make it a little easier to see that, let me just do a um, search on Easy. And now I've just filtered everything else out. So here's the common provisioning group or policy I've aligned it to. It tells me even the RAID type up here. And it tells me for snapshot what the copy space is going to be. And boom, there is the host that it's exported to. I'm going to rescan. And that is completed. And I'm going to go ahead and find that volume. There it is. It's a one terabyte volume. So I'm going to select that. Click Next. I'm also going to call it Easy Volume. I like to do that because it's easier to find volumes when they have common naming from the uh, storage array into the ESX host. Uh, so that is going to go out, and it is now completed, and there's easy volume. At this point, I can create new VM guests uh, on that volume uh, whenever I want. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoy this.